Hello everyone. My name's Judy and I'm one of the uh, people who work at Crowthorn Village Preschool. Um, as we can't always have people in at the moment because of the health situation, um, we've decided to do a little video to show you how things will be when you arrive for your first day in preschool. Um, and to remind those of you who've been at home on your home adventure, all the lovely things that we've got for you to play with when you come back. So um, please bear with me um, because I've got to move bits and pieces around to try and get a nice picture of it for you. Um, but hopefully you'll get an idea of what we do, how we run, and some of the things that you will see. All right? Right, so the first thing you'll see when you walk into the big door is our home corner. Our home corner is always right by the front door in the same place every day and it has lots of different things. We have cookers and sinks, sometimes we have baby baths, sometimes we have buggies, we have hoovers. We have lots of things to play with in our home corner. Sometimes we use plastic toys and sometimes we use real stuff in our home kitchen. And sometimes we actually have china cups and sauces in our kitchen. But we play with them and we recreate what we see at home and it helps us to feel safe and secure. But every day there'll be something a little bit different here. Sometimes Lorraine likes to chop vegetables with the children over here, so we have vegetables in here. Um, and sometimes we have water here and we do washing up and we bath the dollies. Um, so we do all sorts of things here um, every day and it will always be here but what's in it might be a little different every day. The next table that you'll see as you walk in the hall is our craft table. Sometimes this will have paint, sometimes it will have glue, sometimes it will have brushes, rollers, stampers. We have lots of things to stick with and we always have scissors out and we use the scissors safely and we have scissors for people who like to use their right hands and scissors for people who like to use their left hands and we have Safety Ted and Safety Ted watches what we're doing each day and if he thinks we're not being safe with the scissors, he will come and ask us how, what might happen and how we need to keep ourselves safe when we use the scissors. But these things will be like the home corner. Will, this table will always be the craft table, but what's on it might be a little different every day. It will be a surprise when you come in. So, for those of you who like sticking and painting, there'll always be something to do. The next table is our dough table. And it's also where we like to get messy sometimes with gloop and all sorts of things. We make slime sometimes. We have lots and lots of different dough recipes. So we make lots of different types of dough for the children to play with. And we have rolling pins. 
and cutters and you can make gingerbread people and you can practice scissors and shapes all sorts of things on this table and it's a really nice place sometimes we make the dough smell of things like lavender sometimes I make chocolate dough and sometimes we have herbs and things over here with the dough as well but like with everything else it would always be a little different every day this is our bathroom it's the place where we wash our hands it's the place where the bigger children can go to the toilet and it's the place where we keep ourselves safe by washing our hands when we're doing things like cooking and things like that we have steps to help you up to the taps and we have paper towels so you can dry your hands afterwards and then you throw them into the bin so that they're at the end of the session they're all nice and safe and put away um, ready to go to the bin men. This is also the place after you've blown your nose on a tissue that you can go and put your tissue in the bin as well because we want to catch it, kill it and bin it when we have a sneeze. On the table next to the bathroom we have some boxes and these boxes will have your names and your pictures on and this is where we put the things that you've made that you want to take home. You find your name or your picture and you put your things in the box and then when mummies and daddies come to collect you at the end of the session, they know where your special things are, ready to go home. So, that first bit of the hall, we call our messy area. It's where we get covered in paint and glue. We have aprons for you to put on, but if you really don't like wearing an apron, we'd rather you paint and glue and get a little bit messy. So don't wear your best clothes to preschool. Wear something old and that way if you get some paint on it, it doesn't matter. The middle area is called our active zone and this is where we move and we practice our physical skills, the little things and the really big things. So in this area, we often have sand so we can tip and pour and we also have water. But sometimes this might be outside, but if not, it will be inside for you to play with and you can have all sorts of things in here sometimes we put the dinosaurs in here sometimes we put flowers and fir cones in here all sorts of things go in the sand and sometimes there isn't sand in here sometimes we put tea leaves in here or rice or pasta all sorts of things but it, they're all things that help you to tip and pour and balance and work out how things move um, and play together and learn how to get along with one another this is where we like to move and we have all sorts of things here sometimes we have stepping stones and balance boards so we can build our balancing skills and balancing skills are very important for how we think so the more we balance the more we move the better our thinking skills will be 
And sometimes here, today, we've got shapes and sharks. That sounds the same, doesn't it? Sh shape and shark. But we have all sorts of things here. Sometimes we even have an indoor climbing frame. But it will be something different every day. This is our builder's tray and in our builder's tray we have all sorts of things that we can build with. So today we've got the wooden blocks and we can build tall towers and we can knock them down. Sometimes this will be wooden blocks but it could be stickle bricks or waffle bricks. It might be Lego or Duplo and it might even be a proper builder's brick in here for us to see what a real brick looks like. We quite like building but just the same as everywhere else the building activity will be something different every day. The carpet area is where we do all sorts of things. Some days we play with little toys that are our favourites like Peppa Pig, Iggle Piggle, Unicorns. Sometimes we play with hairdressers. Sometimes this is a hospital. Sometimes it's a dentist's. Sometimes we have superheroes and sometimes we have castles and princesses and fairies. But there will always be something magical going on on this carpet. This is also the place at the end of the session where we sit and we do our singing and we wait for our mummies and daddies to come and collect us. And it's a very nice carpet because it's got letters and sounds all over it. So sometimes we look at those too. Yeah, so, but it's up to you how you use this area because we will watch you and see what you like playing with. And if you tell us that what you want to play with, we will make sure that we have it out. So if you want the dinosaurs out, ask us, we'll get the dinosaurs out. If you want Peppa out, tell us, we'll go and get Peppa out for you. It's your preschool, it's your choosing what you want to do. This is our book corner and it's really cosy because we have lots of cushions in here and we have lots of different types of books. We have story books, we have books about real things. This one's about frogs and tadpoles. We have books about colours and numbers and letters. We have books for older children where they can read themselves using the special pictures called Rebus books. And we have books for the tiny tots. And we also have books for those who have a second or a third language so that they can see their home writing in books as well. So we have lots of different books and if you have a favourite book you let us know and we'll make sure that we have it in our book corner. But we have different books out every day so that we can see all sorts of different books and we love stories. But sometimes I will tell you a story without a book.
because that type of storytelling is very special too. And sometimes we will sit and learn nursery rhymes and songs because children who know lots of nursery rhymes when they go into school are really good at reading and writing when they go to school. So that's very important too. So we do a lot of that. And we also like to sometimes dance when we sing as well. So we do lots of looking at books, listening to stories, making up our own stories. We have some special dice that you roll and they come up with a picture and we make up our own stories. We love doing that. We love writing our own stories. So this is our book corner. This is our maths table. This is where we learn all about how to do puzzles, how to keep trying when we get things wrong, how to count, especially the numbers one to 10, not forgetting that very special number zero. We also learn about different shapes. We learn how to count objects. We learn to problem solve and fit shapes and spaces. And we do all sorts of things on this table. But probably the best thing we do on this table is we play lots and lots of games together. And our favorite game is called Chicken Out. And it's about a naughty fox who likes to eat my chickens. And we have to say to him, naughty fox, get back in your box, because he's very cheeky. So we do lots and lots of fun games. We like Lotto, and we like playing Snap. So we do all sorts of things on the maths table. And what's important is that we have a go and that we see how we get on and that we learn to be comfortable with numbers and shapes and not scared by them because shapes are really important. How would you drive if your car didn't have round wheels? So important. And this table is where we make marks. Sometimes we use chalks and sometimes we use pencils, sometimes we use crayons, sometimes we use etch-a-sketches or dry wipe boards and we have a giant dry wipe board and we like to do big stories on that and then rub them out. We also like to draw with water, doing aqua draw pictures. That's pretty. So we do all sorts of mark making. Sometimes we use shaving foam to make marks in. And sometimes we use special wooden blocks that help us to make shapes. But whatever we do on the mark making table, we also do all around the rest of the hall. So when we're in the home corner sometimes, we pretend that we're having a cafe and we'll take people's orders or we'll write a menu. Sometimes when we're playing with the dinosaurs, we might take the drawing to the dinosaurs and draw around the dinosaurs. And then we might get to thinking, I wonder who's the biggest? And we might lie ourselves down on the floor and draw around ourselves and see who's got the biggest shape, who's the tallest. And we do all sorts of things. So mark making isn't just limited to this area. It is everywhere. Even when we're in the garden and we're playing with mud or paint brushes with water on the fences, we are mark making. And mark making isn't just 
those little things and holding your pencil like this. In order to mark Meg, you have to be able to move your arm and your shoulder all over the place. And that's why it's very important that children get the opportunity to move and to swing backwards and forwards to help them with mark making. So mark making isn't just sitting at a table and we never ever pull a child away from what they want to play with to come and sit here and do a worksheet. Who wants to do that? I'm a grown up. I wouldn't want to do that. But we do all sorts of fun things on this table. So we make it fun and the children want to come. And it's the same with maths. We make it fun, the children want to come. So that's a little taste of what we've got on offer. Hopefully, at some point, you can come in and see us. But perhaps in the meantime, you can show this to your children and they can see some of the nice things that they might be able to play with. And we'll see you soon. Bye.